This is Jimi Hendrick, and this is episode one of LDS Hasten. My love has stayed. Uh- You know, uh, speaking of the, the strenuous life, I think it would be advantageous for my audience to gather as friends and live this uh, strenuous life. It's, it's, I, I've said, you know, the discipline life is not an easy life, but you want it. And so it's very important for us to be endure- industrious I feel a Roosevelt said, I would say that the man who is not able to work with his hand should devote himself to the arts and sciences. And so that's something that is very important. Bishop, who, could you remember, who is your scriptural hero as far as being industrious? Well, I often think of Tiankum in the Book of Mormon. He's one of my uh, special, um, special heroes. Uh, he maybe maybe lost a little bit of sight and was a little bit too zealous, uh, but he was a warrior, a fighter, and uh, you know he helped uh, take out, if that's the right word, two of the world's most evil evil people, and uh, he he was constantly focused on trying to save his people and uh, he was very industrious he lost his life in the end uh, but uh, uh, he's one I look up to I think one of the things that we need to do and one of the things we need to focus on is that industry is sacrifice and in a way you're you're sacrificing I I like in this to Delatoro McNeil's book Caught Between a Dream and a Dream Welcome to LDS Hasten. This is a podcast for those who are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who desire to share the gospel, as well as for those who are interested in learning more about the church. Now, we're having a fictional section of two clubs, okay? One is for those that are interested in in learning from missionaries, even even member of missionaries, and one is for members who want to, to be covenant keeping, and which means covenant keeping involves going out there and sharing the gospel, the re- restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you something. Because of the gospel, I feel wonderful. Just <laughs> thank, thank Jesus. I, I'm, I'm blessed, you know. So now that we've cleared some things, I've started it, this out with a clip from my podcast, Empower Three Hundred and Sixty, um, working the beehive from from Bishop Dave, which you will hear 
sometime from sometime next month, a combined uh, episodes, if you know what I mean. So, without further ado, I'm I'm gonna give you a hint. There's one apostle you're gonna hear from early on, um, Elder Jeffrey R. Holland. He's gonna be <laughs> he's one, he's really one of my main uh, uh, fixture apostles. That's that that is. A good support to me. So, okay, guys, here, here, um, you're gonna you're gonna learn principles of the gospel. You you'll most likely learn um, how to reach out in in missionary work to those um, around you, and even in your sphere of influence, sharing to people how important your faith is. So, therefore, here we go with what I see is a little bit of fun. We're stopping off briefly to uh, Club Helaman. Now, Club Helaman is, for those that are members of the church, they're covenant keeping. Now, listen to me. Regardless of how successful you are, if you're a part of Club Helaman, you do not have to be ashamed of the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ, okay? Now, we're going to go into the meat of it now. We're going to go off to Club Manasseh. Hope you guys are getting ready because Club Manasseh, this is where people gather that want to know more about the gospel. They study under missionaries and member missionaries and and so, I hope you guys are ready for this. We're off to Club uh, Manasseh to hear parts of hymns like this. Now, here is a double-edged sword here as we we begin to lay the groundwork of LDS Hasten. Now, I've heard over the years, I've been a member of the church for almost, well, this July, the 20 years, I've heard some people say, well, Jimmy, you've forgotten where you come from. You have typically laid aside and forgotten and threw away your Baptist roots. No, I have not. I have not. And yet, okay, I'm not attacking any person, any group, but I'm sure there's some members of the church saying, you know, you kind of have to lay aside, lay aside those roots. I'm going to be as bluntly honest with you as I can. Reality is somewhere in between. Okay, reality is somewhere in between because I believe it was Brigham Young who told members of the church come that, that are, that are going to be converts come with what you have and we'll add more and I think that that is absolutely beautiful because I haven't forgotten my roots but the thing is I needed to expand my roots. Now, a few episodes from now, a couple episodes from now, you're going to hear a little bit more about my roots, about three episodes that discuss my roots. And you'll see how important it is, okay? Because we're, 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 leaving, the, uh, we're leaving the missionary clubs. And, and I... I, I uh, I grew up as a good old Southern Baptist boy through and through. But the gospel is a big part of who I am. So that's now... 
Now you know. Totally and truthfully. I, where I. Where I stand. Um, and now this is. Um, Jimi Hendrix saying. Preach the gospel. Read your scriptures. Take care. God bless.